The Galaxy 15 satellite has become a zombie and will soon eat the brains of AMC 11 on your Space Vcast Daily for May 4th, 2010. On April 5th, 2010, Intelsat lost control of the Orbital Sciences built Galaxy 15 satellite. And they've been unable to regain its correct position in orbit. Now, losing communications with a multi million dollar satellite, not generally a great thing to have happen. But in this case, it's even worse. The bird itself is floating around with its transponder still active. And now for the really fun part, this satellite is moving out of its assigned orbital slot and is about to enter into the range of another satellite, AMC 11. Uh, typically, one would be worried of an impact event, which then causes a ton of space debris. But in this case, the problem will be interference. Since both satellites would be broadcasting at the same time in the same orbital slot, the malfunctioning Galaxy 15 could end up knocking out communications of AMC 11 when it gets too close. Now, right now, best estimates put that date at May 23rd, and then we'll have two decommissioned satellites. But the fun doesn't end there. If ground controllers can't regain control of Galaxy 15 and it keeps drifting, eventually it'll exit the assigned orbital slot for AMC 11 sometime around June 7th and could then move on to take out the next satellite in its way and so forth and so on until they can either shut it down or it loses its earth pointing capability which would then cause the solar arrays to lose lock with the sun and a couple of hours later the batteries are draining the unit would just shut down on its own anyhow. Now, yesterday, Intelsat was going to try one last Hail Mary to see if they can't get control of the satellite. Okay, well, less control and more like an emergency shutdown command. This was a powerful command sent for around 30 minutes to try and get Galaxy 15 to turn off its transponders and just go completely dark, so it won't wreak havoc on the satellite constellation. No word yet on if this attempt worked or not. Now, Galaxy 15 has been replaced by Galaxy 12, which was already located at another orbital location and moved into the proper orbital slot for the old Galaxy 15. Since most of the transponders on Galaxy 15 match that of Galaxy 12, this was a fairly good workaround, although Galaxy 12 is missing the L-band units that were available on the other satellite. If the satellite's not shut down, then around July 13th, it should reach the vicinity of Galaxy 13. Around July 30th, it'll reach Galaxy 14, and in mid-August, it'll reach Galaxy 18. Eventually, it is expected to reach the satellite wasteland at 105 degrees west, where satellites just go to die. There are two parking lots for satellites. One is at 105 degrees west, and the other is at 75 degrees east. Current estimates put more than 160 zombie sats parked at these two locations. And this will be the first orbital sciences built satellite to get zombified. Brains! 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 Brains!